Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's whole house clean and decorate with me for Halloween for 2021. In today's video, I brought together two of my recent videos of me cleaning and decorating for Halloween this year. And I wanted to give you guys tons of motivation and have a longer video for you guys to enjoy to clean to and give you tons of motivation. I love watching videos that are a little bit longer and are somewhat of cleaning marathons. So I hope you guys enjoy today's clean and decorate with me and let me know down in the comments what you're working on today. I wanted to give you almost an hour long motivation this morning so you can kind of have it in the background and clean along with me or if you have to organize or decorate whatever you're doing today i wanted to just give you that extra motivation because i know that i love watching videos like this and just cleaning along with people it just gives me tons of great motivation and helps me clean longer and organize and it makes me feel so good starting my week just having a clean and organized house so i really hope you guys get tons of motivation for my videos if you guys are new to my channel i'm yelena and i make homemaking videos every wednesday and sunday i just love decorating and cleaning and i also have a lot of motherhood just lifestyle kind of videos here on youtube so definitely subscribe to my channel but without further ado let's get started with today's whole house clean and decorate with me for halloween here I'm just cleaning up the dishes because I like to sometimes just put the dishes up in the sink when we're after we have dinner because we like to go on walks at night and sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning them up right away so I just leave them till later so I can just rinse them off and put them in the dishwasher and I usually do this after our toddler goes to bed so that way we don't have to spend too much time cleaning up the kitchen as a family and we can just spend more time together and I clean up later so that's pretty much my nightly routine Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it You could be Don't love, feel like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my 
So on to decorating my coffee bar area. This is honestly my favorite this year. I was so excited to decorate this area because one, I'm a co coffee holic and I love my coffee. And also because I went to Target dollar section and I found a bunch of really cute, cheap decorations for Halloween for my coffee bar area. And this is something that I've never really decorated before for Halloween. But then this year I decided to really go all out for this section because this is my favorite area in the whole house. Every morning I wake up, I just go straight to my coffee area and I make my coffee. This is what makes me happy. So I really wanted to make this area super cute and very festive for Halloween. I got this really cute little two-tier tray at Target for only $5. And these super cute pumpkins were a set of three for $3 which I thought were adorable. I honestly did not have a theme this year for Halloween, but I ended up just getting a lot of stuff like black and white stuff. And it actually all turned out super cute and I'm obsessed with it. So if you guys love all these little pumpkins and all these decorations, most of them are from the dollar section at Target. And also these little glasses that have like brain juice on them and just the super cute little, um, tiny glass that has the little like um glitter in it it all kind of just like looked really cool and kind of matched the theme for coffee and then i found a little witch last year at the dollar section and it makes noises so i think this area is turning out to be so cute i might actually add more things as i go especially because it's still pretty early on but i'm just literally obsessed with this area i just think it's adorable the little tree is also from target i think it was only five dollars and the trick-or-treat sign was i think i found that at home goods i will be doing a whole house like halloween house tour and i will also mention everything that i get from everywhere there so stay tuned for that video but yeah pretty much everything is from the dollar section at target and it just looks adorable i also added these really cute straws from target and ended up just using the orange and black ones and i think they turned out so good in the little glass jar and yeah i'm just literally so obsessed with that area it looks super cute it turned out so good Right now I'm standing in a corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere. If you guys saw my fall clean and decorate with me, I recently filled my glass jars with the popcorn from Sam's Club. And then here I'm just kind of adding the Halloween Oreos and switching one of them out with the Oreos and then the other little snack mix that I found from Target for Halloween. This is a great way to kind of fill an empty space if you have 
like empty counter space it just looks very decorative plus it's just a great thing to have if you like snacking during the day or if you have kids that like to snack it's just easy to have everything out right there and i just think it looks really cute and kind of fills in that space and looks very clean so i definitely recommend doing that if you just have like a big counter space and you have no idea what to do with it plus the glass jars are super cheap i got those from the dollar general for like two dollars and fifty cents so they were very cheap i know amazon sells a bunch of them too for fairly cheap so it's just a great way to decorate of, or to decorate empty space like you make me fly and when i look at you smile i don't know how but it feels like i'm drunk on you it feels like i'm drunk on you it feels like i'm drunk on you Alright you guys, I definitely am guilty of this because I don't do this often enough but I recommend you take your toaster and shake it upside down because I got so many crumbs out of this. It's not even funny. I can't remember the last time I cleaned this out and it's just so gross. It piled up so much in there and honestly like I'm disgusted by it because I'm like okay this could cause so many bugs to come into the house and just live in the toaster and i just never think to do this let me know down below in the comments if you clean your toaster out a lot the inside of it and what it looks like because i honestly always i just don't even think to do this all the time so so many crumbs came out of this it was literally shocking to me so yeah i definitely recommend doing that and cleaning your toaster out because that's the one thing that 
I feel like you just don't think to clean out, but it just gets gross and piles up a bunch of stuff in there and a lot of crumbs from toast and stuff like that. So definitely check your toasters, you guys. And then on this little hanging shelf, I'm just adding another little skeleton. This one is a pirate one and then just moving some decor around. So keeping it pretty simple throughout the kitchen and dining room area and just adding little Halloween pieces here and there. I know I'll probably add a few more things as Halloween gets closer. It's still pretty early, but right now I'm just keeping it pretty simple. And if I find new things at the stores, which I usually do, I'll kind of like add as I go and I'll probably show you guys in future videos if I keep like adding new things, if I find stuff at like Ross or Home Goods or Marshalls, which are like my favorite stores to shop at for Halloween stuff. So yeah, here I'm just cleaning up the rest of the kitchen, making sure everything is clean and wipe down, especially those areas that we touch the most and kind of accumulate the most germs during the day. So I just like to keep the counters and everything pretty clean and then vacuuming the whole floor. So everything is looking pretty nice and clean. So here I just decided to add some Halloween lights last minute. I found these from last year and I thought they would look perfect in the kitchen. I didn't think I was going to put any lights in the kitchen area just because I wanted to keep everything pretty simple. But honestly the lights kind of made the whole look so much better. And they just kind of made it look a lot more festive and spooky looking. So I'm so glad that I added these lights. And it turned out super cute. And my toddler absolutely loves this area. Whenever he runs in here he just is obsessed with it. So I'm super glad that I did this because everything just turned out really cute and kind of tied together and it looks really cool with like the spider up there that I added and then the bat so I I'm definitely glad that I added the lights at the end and it just kind of put the whole look together and it looks really cool at night when you turn the lights off so all right so in this box I have some stuff from last year which I think I'm only going to use a couple things most of it is stuff outside like this kind of stuff um, we're going to hang outside and then there's like a couple pumpkins and um, skeletons so I might use a couple things from here like the spiders and stuff I might use some of this for the inside but I haven't figured that out yet I'm only pretty much going to use some of the new stuff in the living room and entryway so I'm going to start from this area I got this really cute Happy Halloween sign from At Home. And then I got this one from there. A real witch lives here with her little monsters. I thought this was adorable. And everything is super reasonable. I think this was only like, it's definitely under $5. I think it was like three something. And then I got this really cute pumpkin from there. And then also this one, it's kind of goes with my theme of black and white. And this cat, we have a cat. So I thought this was so cute. And then they had these really cool um, little spiders there. So I got two of them and the orange ones, the so black and orange ones. And then I also got these candy corn lights from at home. So all this was at home. And then underneath here, I actually found this really big mirror that I've been looking for for a front door. 
because we have a picture there and I just didn't want to spend a lot of money. All of them have been super expensive, like at Target and stuff. So I found this one for only $40 from at home and it's perfect for the entryway. So I'm going to go ahead and also install this. This was only $40, which is cheaper than everywhere else I've looked. And then this was under $5, enter, enter if you dare. So I'm just going to put this by the front door. thought that one was really cool. So I got a bunch of stuff from at home. If you guys have one near you, like I definitely recommend going because they have a ton of really cool stuff for very cheap. And then moving on to here, this is like this stuff I got from Home Goods. I got this really big candle that I thought was really cool. It says Boo on it. It's super cute. And then I also got this thing. I think it's for makeup brushes. It says, some days I'm extra witchy, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I think I might put it in my bedroom, but I don't know yet. And then I got this for our bathroom. It just says, resting witch face, which I'm not going to decorate our bedrooms this year, but I just thought I would put this in there. That was cute. And then these I actually already had. I can't remember where I found them. I think from the dollar store last year. But I thought they were really cool for this year for the bar area. And then I got this super cute tree from Home Goods. It actually lights up. So I'm going to use that. I love the sparkles on it. Um, yeah, that's from Home Goods. And then got these ones from the dollar section at Target. And I thought they were really cute. So I'm going to put them somewhere in our bar. Those are really cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, I want to show you this because this is the cutest thing ever. But we found this at Ross yesterday and it's seriously so cute. They had a bunch there still. So if you have a little baby, I definitely would recommend checking Ross out. It's so adorable. This is a really good Halloween activity and you can build like a little scary graveyard. And it comes with like all this stuff, the little sprinkles little leaves bones pumpkins and then all the different things like ghost fence coffin everything's like chocolate and you just like you can build it with your kids i thought this would be really fun to do with my toddler as a family for halloween we're actually going to start on this early because he's been wanting to do this so i might get a couple of these just to do throughout october thought that was adorable seriously so cute and looks really fun and then we went to Walmart yesterday and I found these 98 cent garlands for Halloween. So I might put these on our fireplace. And then I also got this one. It's pretty festive. I thought it was really cool. And then what else did I get there? And then I also got... Wait, what is this? Okay, so I also got this one from um, Walmart too. It's a garland as well. And it's like the spider web one. And then I got some stuff from online from Amazon. This is just like a boo pillowcase cover that I thought I could use on one of the pillowcases or one of the pillows in the living room. And then I also ordered these 56 piece bats that came with like the stick on things from Amazon. They're like under $8 right now on Amazon. I will link everything down below for you guys because it's a really great deal. And they're different sizes too. So I thought that would be really cool to use in the living room. And then this is just like a, a garland that I got for the bar. So I will show you how I decorate that. And then on to some other stuff. I got this really cute soft Halloween blanket at Home Goods. And it was only, let's see, $16.99. But I thought that would be cute for the living room. It's super soft. And then I got these set of two pillows from Home Goods. I have skulls on them too from, from Home Goods came in a set of two for like $24 and then I also got this boo pillow from there. I'm super excited to decorate with you guys.
sleep, I'm in too deep No matter where I hide, you got me sleep deprived Now that I finished taking down all the fall decor and cleaning up the living room area, it's on to decorating my couch. I'm obsessed with these skull pillows from Home Goods. I definitely recommend getting them because a set of two of them was like $24. And then the boot pillow, I just think not overcrowding your couch with pillows and blankets looks so much better and a lot more minimal and you don't have to overdo it. It still looks very festive. So I'm just keeping the three pillows with that really nice pumpkin blanket and it looks really cozy and still looks very festive for Halloween. So 
I'm also keeping it very minimal on the fireplace mantle this year and just putting the garlands up there with the little tree and hanging a few spiders and stuff like that so not too many things on there just mostly the garlands and then the cute little decor pieces but other than that I decided to keep everything pretty minimal and it looked really good against the white fireplace so definitely love all the decor this year Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page
I showed you guys these new candy corn lights that I got earlier and I had no idea where to place them so I decided to put them on our plant. Plants are pretty summery and I feel like it's very hard for them to be kind of festive but adding some cool lights to them I feel like makes them look a little bit better and not as summery and just kind of adds to the Halloween theme. I think it turned out pretty cute so if you guys have plants this is a great way to kind of decorate it and make it flow a little bit better in the room because this area is honestly not very used right here we just have this big chair and nobody really sits on it besides our cats so i never know what to do with it or how to decorate this area so i'm just using our old blankets on there and just putting them on there so it's kind of an ignored area but i just literally add a little pillows and blankets and that's basically all i put in that area and then here I'm just lighting my favorite boo candle and adding those little pumpkins that were on top of the TV island thing and I'm just adding them in the corner. This area is highly used by us and our toddler so pretty sure I'll be moving the candle and the pumpkins because our toddler just starts moving everything around the house and here I'm just adding the little skeleton pumpkin and some spiders. So not too many things around here, but still makes it pretty festive and just a little decorations look cute on there. So here I'm just putting together the garland that goes above our bar. I ordered this on Amazon and I did not realize you guys that it came completely apart so you have to put this string through each individual letter and kind of put it together. I'm not used to this because the Walmart ones were already put together so just keep that in mind if you are ordering stuff from like Amazon they may not be completely put together but that's okay it just took me a while to kind of get the hang of it and put all the letters together and it turned out so good I think I'm just obsessed with it I think it turned out so cute and fit perfectly in our little area right there in the bar so definitely recommend it if you have like an area like this or a little bar cart or something it just looks really festive and cute and turned out so good so yeah just keep in mind that you might have to put it together
car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Moving on to the entryway, I'm not doing a lot here because it's a pretty small space and like I said, I like to keep everything pretty minimal. I'm really excited to hang my new mirror. I can't believe I found this for $40 at home and uh, it just looks so good and fills that space perfectly and kind of matches the whole area and the whole black and white theme. Just cleaning the mirror now and starting to decorate that little space i think everything turned out super cute i don't put a lot of stuff in this area but i just got those little cute decorations from at home and everything turned out pretty good and looks really festive and cute for the walkway area
all right everyone so that is it for my whole house clean and decorate with me for halloween this year i hope you guys enjoyed this longer kind of video and got tons of great cleaning and decorating motivation especially this is the end of the week and we're starting into a new week tomorrow and i hope you guys just get a ton done with me and just play this video in the background so you can get extra motivation and start your week with having a clean and organized or decorated house i just know that it always makes me feel good ending the week and having everything cleaned and put away so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching this clean and decorate with me and got tons of motivation and ideas from this video let me know down below what you guys worked on today in your own house if you were decorating or cleaning and hopefully you got tons of motivation if you did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot especially because i put so much work into giving you guys great cleaning motivation every single week so i love getting those extra thumbs up and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing week this week Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on Wednesday in a new cleaning motivation video. Bye guys!